Welcome, foolish mortals, to another episode of the Hitchhiking Host Show. One, oh, one. I am your host, your ghost host, <laughs> West Truth, and I'm here with another history episode. Well, where are we gonna time travel to in our time traveling doom buggies this week? Well, I'll give you a hint. We're gonna have to take this along. <laughs> Because, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about a very interesting exhibit in the early day of Tomorrowland. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go back to 1956 and talk about the bathroom of tomorrow. <laughs> As we've learned in the past episodes, Disneyland's Tomorrowland had some very unique and sometimes questionable exhibits in its early days. When Walt made a deal with Crane Plumbing, we got perhaps one of the most interesting exhibits yet. Fitting in with what products will look like in the future, the Crane Plumbing Company sponsored and installed an interactive exhibit in Tomorrowland showcasing what a bathroom could look like decades from now. It was known as the Bathroom of Tomorrow. The exhibit was located in the same building as the Hall of Chemistry and the Kaiser Hall of Aluminum fame and opened on April 5th, 1956. There was even a special opening ceremony which featured Crane Company President Frank Elliott and industrial designer Henry Dreyfus join Walt Disney with a valve turning ceremony. Park guests could tour the bathroom, which was to look at and not to use, to see ideas they very well could possibly see in the future. Some of the ideas included a gold-plated bathtub and bidet, air conditioning, and a hot water boiler of advanced design if the room got cold. The brochure for the bathroom told guests it's the type of heating and cooling that makes you forget the weather. The bathroom also included citrus yellow fixtures, ceramic figurines, a telephone, sunglasses, dumbbells attached to the wall in case you wanted to work out while you were in the bathtub or on the toilet, and a hydraulic sink that could go down for shorter youngsters and then go back up for the adults. There was also a teardrop display known as a dramatic story of valves in the industry. Kids and guests of all ages could use the valve to control the flow of water in a colorful display of transparent pipes. There were also faucets that could be found towards the entrance of the exhibit that kids could play with. While the bathroom of tomorrow seemed like an interesting idea, the exhibit had its final flush on August 31st, 1960, being replaced with a fun photo location. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another episode very soon, uh, as well as another Hitchhiking Host Show uh, um, trending topic show, where we'll talk about what went down to Disney parks this week. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube, youtube.com slash Hitcho Show. You can like the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash Hitcho Show. Follow on the Twitter at Hitcho Show. And if you want to listen to the show or you are listening to the show, you can do so over on Podbean. It's hitchoshow.podbean.com. And of course, you can search on iTunes or Stitcher under West Troop or the Hitchhiking Ho Show. Until next time, don't forget to. For the next episode. See ya.